friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sanvia. Whether you like it or not, there's a trend. And the trend is the man fringe. Bieber's got it, all kinds of Instagram posts, Pinterest happening everywhere. Doesn't matter if you call it man fringe, bro bangs, man bangs, it's out there and we need to know how to do it. So we're gonna give you some tips on when you're creating this sort of man fringe, how do you go about it to make sure that it looks more masculine and less feminine? The first thing that you wanna do is you want to think about texture. The main thing that's gonna make a fringe look masculine versus feminine is how we adjust the texture and the movement within the fringe. If it's very heavy, very blunt, very solid, more than likely it's gonna feel more feminine. So what we really wanna do is we wanna be able to create a lot of texture. We're gonna utilize our Sandia Signature Series Reversible Blending Shear. And the reason I'm utilizing this is because with this shear, I can actually remove a decent amount of length with each cut because the way the teeth are set up, they actually hold the hair in place, allowing me to remove a little bit more hair. So we're gonna step here to the opposite side because we do want a little bit of a sweep to the fringe. Uh, that's another thing that I've noticed. If it's too square and it's too solid looking, it looks too placed on the head and it doesn't have a movement to it, which is really important to it looking lived in. So we're gonna start over his left eye and we're going to elevate it to 90 degrees to the actual head shape. Now what that means is that it's following the actual shape of his head, not straight out. And the reason for that is we want it to have a very natural movement to it. If I come in and I create too straight of a line, it's gonna be really challenging to get it to fall nicely to the head shape. What I'm going to do is actually come in and point cut with the blending shear on a really strong diagonal angle to the hair strand. So I'm almost kind of creating this very choppy sort of line, but since I'm doing it with the blending shear, it's not gonna fall into a choppy feel, it's just gonna fall more highly textured. So you can see it creates sort of a layered textured feel to it without me having to come back in afterwards and retexturize. So now that we have that guide over the left eye, we're going to start moving over towards the right eye. Again, just working in a vertical section. We're gonna over direct that section over the left eye here. Again, following 90 degrees to the head shape and then coming through and point cutting on that strong diagonal. So to complete the fringe, what I'll do is I'll just continue to take these vertical sections, over direct them to this left eye and cut to my stationary guide there. So we'll just show a couple. And as we complete that last section, you can see that by creating a stationary guide over that left eye, it creates a natural sweep to the side. By using that point cutting technique with the blending shear, I've got a nice kind of choppy textury feel to it without it being blocky looking. We still want it to be lived in. One of the other things that I think is really important when it comes to men's hairdressing is that we want that little bit of lived in feel to keep that masculinity in there. Now, anytime that we cut anything more layered first, the last thing that we wanna do is we wanna look at our perimeter line because this is just kind of what's ever, whatever's left over from his hairline. Now, I don't have a lot of work to do because I actually want it to be a little longer and PC, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and define a couple pieces by coming in, pinching with my fingers, and then working that piece off, again, utilizing the blending shear to maintain the softness on the ends. And again, we want that sort of lived in feel so that it keeps some masculinity to it. And I'll even come up here and just maybe take out a few pieces if I feel like it's a little heavy here on the ends. Now from here, we just need to utilize a little bit of finishing product. So we're gonna grab the Redken for Men Polish Shut Pomade. And the reason I'm gonna use this is I like the bit of shine and the bit of texture that it creates. I'm gonna be really minimal with my application, 
I'm just literally kind of skimming my finger over the surface and then I'm going to place it into my palm. Now I place it into my palm and my palm is going to act as my reservoir. And I'm just going to come in and just lightly take a little bit off in my fingertips and then come through and define the ends slightly. I don't want to overdo the product here because again I want it to feel natural. The other thing too is when I used to wear my hair a little longer on my forehead, I noticed if I used too much product, my skin would even get a little oily. So you want to be careful with that, of course, too. So again, what we want to do, start over the left eye here, taking a vertical section, establish a stationary guide there by cutting 90 degrees to the head shape, point cutting with that reversible blending shear, and then everything gets over-directed to that section as a stationary guide. Our section size is all just dependent on hair density and whatever quantity of hair that you feel comfortable controlling at once. So after you finish the more layered texture, then you wanna just come in and define that perimeter, again, just using that kind of pinch and then cut method, again, with that signature series blending shear. So the next time that you get the request for the man fringe, now you've got a great way to approach it and we would love to see your work. So if you post it somewhere in social media, please hashtag us, hashtag Sam Via. We'd love to see your work. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the box below. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Via.